God is very categorical. He's saying, wives, submit yourselves unto your own, unto your own husbands. Your own, not someone, uh, someone else. Unto your own husband. We have, we have some ladies, they can submit to brother-in-laws mm -hmm. more than their own husband. Whenever their brother-in-laws speak, oh, they, they, they can even bow. They can submit to some men. You are in, you're in the same apartment. And when that man speaks, oh my goodness, you, the, 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 way you, you, the way you respond, your voice, your, your actions, the way you, even your emotions, the way you are releasing them. This man can say, oh my God, this is a wife. This is a good wife. But when it comes to your own husband, the way you respond, the way you, re you retort to him, the way you unto him, you, you, you just treat him like, like a nobody. So it is our duty, it is my duty, it is your duty. You are out there, you're not married and you, you're, you're desiring to have someone. You shouldn't tell God through his spirit, teach me on how to submit. It, it, <laughs> submission, it is, it is that ability. You, you, are, you become humble and that is one of the fruit of the spirit. We send gifts, they benefit the body, the body of Christ. But the gift, the fruit of the spirit, I, I, that, those, those makes you who you are and they work a lot especially even on our characters so as a, as, a, as a woman I am supposed to submit to my husband you are supposed to submit to your husband it is on duty so the word says why submit yourselves and your own, hus your own husbands as unto the Lord as unto the Lord and this is what makes women crazy is he my God I submit to him is he my creator? The word says like unto the Lord. So when you submit to your husband uh, as unto the Lord, you are obeying the word of God. You are walking in obedience. You are doing what is right. You are doing what you expect him to do. And when God sees you submitting and you are just uh, doing what is right to your husband, then you will be blessed. The one says, for the husband is the hand of the wife. The husband is the hand of the wife, even as Christ is the end of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Not in some things, but in everything. But in everything. So this is where a big commotion uh, lies. Because when you are not willing to submit your husband can tell you something, your husband can talk to you, your husband can request even something, and you are not willing at all. You are not ready to do it. And you feel like doing the opposite. You feel like you cannot do because he has said so. I tell you, even when you go and you lift up your hands to the Lord, uh, as long as that, that, that obedience is not there, Whatever you do, the Lord will see, you, you will see someone who is unbreak of the word. The Bible says we should not just be hearers or listeners of the word. We should be doers of the word. And this is what is making many, many uh, families, especially when it comes to the sign of women, it is making us to experience a lot of pain and it is self-manufactured Pains. I tell you the truth, you can manufacture your own pains. And let me tell you this, uh, women, if, if you're not careful, you're out there, sometimes uh, if you're not ready to fight some spiritual battles, you manufacture battles in your own family. Because you may wake up and say, today I'll not talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll not talk. And you feel like keeping quiet, you feel like, like becoming mad, and you don't want anything to do to do to do with your own husband, and you just allow that can demon, and that can demon can visit you, and some of them especially if you're not careful, especially during your men's, you can you can <laughs> you can you can fight a woman, especially during that period. This is the time you have a lot of argument because there are some things that that you feel like no, I cannot. Who is this person? Who are you? For all these years, I've been doing this, I've been submitting, I, I feel I need some freedom, I, I need to breathe. And that day you can do something that you have never done before because you allowed the visitation of, 
a certain demon to control your mind, to control your reactions, to control your actions, to control your arms, and you manufacture battle. And that time, some of them, they tell, they tell even the husband, I'm ready, and I was set for this. Because you are not ready to submit. So submission is a foundation of uh, joy. I can, I can say that it is, it is something when, when you meet yourself, you have submitted. I tell you the truth. This makes you to tune your husband to sing your song to sing in your tune, and it is in order. It is in order for you to submit. Failure to submit, this is what has caused many people to begin to, 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 to have a duty rota, the one mm. that you are, you are, you are, you are talking about. Mm. You, people, <laughs> they sit down and they plan a timetable. Mm -hmm. You will cook today. Mm -hmm. I will cook tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This week, you are the one who will do their own chores. Mm -hmm. Next week, I'll be doing the home chores. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're not ready to do, uh, I call you when you're coming. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, remember of our, of, of our testimony when we were doing a program somewhere, a lady calling her own husband. Mm -hmm. I am full because mm -hmm. she went through a friend's house. She mm -hmm. ate there. Mm -hmm. And uh, now she's calling her husband. Make sure you buy some chips or some something as you go home mm -hmm. because... You need to prepare There's yourself. There's no food today. There's no food in the house today. So mm. you, you should be set. If, if you not buy, uh, it's upon you. And this is the generation. Mm. These are the people that, 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 that uh, want to be happy in marriage. These are the people that want to be treated like angels. In, the in the, in, in, queens. I mean like queens in, the, in their own marriages. When you are starving your own husband. Because you are not ready to submit. Actually, some they some even quarrel. Go and go go and check who is knocking at the door, mm. or you, you are the one to, to close the door this week. Mm. So if if you're not willing to close, we we, we sleep. Mm. We stay like that. And this kind of madness is making many people uh, to uh, to fail. And uh, actually, it is causing a lot of wounds in the in, in the families. It is causing many people to regret why they are together because. People are not willing to do their duties. It is in order, it is important for you as a wife to submit to your own husband. To submit to your own husband. When you submit to your own husband, when you kneel down, God will hear you. When you pray, God will hear you. When you do anything, God will hear you. But as long as you are not ready to obey this command, as a duty, it is a duty. It is on duty, and God is expect God is expecting you. God is expecting me to do it. So even if you go to church, even if you go to other places, and you are failed to do that duty, God will see you as a rebellious woman. Mm -hmm. God will see you as an arrogant woman. And I tell you the truth, He will not be happy with you. But when you do so, it God will be excited to bless you and you will be excited mm. to lift you up amen let me hand over to you <laughs> so that you can thank you, you very much to, to I, I, I want to just say something about what you have said yes especially when now it come to sharing of the duties mm. uh i think the reason number one that makes people uh feel that this should be done uh, by him or by her mm, mm. is because our friendship dies. Yeah. According to me, before mm. we come to describe about these roles and responsibilities yes. that a wife is supposed to do or husband, mm. we need to do everything in marriage as friends. Amen. As friends. As friends. Yeah. And uh, we need to stand up for each other as friends. Amen. Friends. A carry burden for one another. Praise the Lord. Friends share pains. Friends share joy. Share joy. Mm. So if husband and wife are friends, mm -hmm. and you stand in for your wife as your friend, Amen. you stand in for your husband as friend, mm. there shall not be uh, a permanent, a permanent uh, duty that is supposed to be done by the wife or done by the husband. Eh? Mm, 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 mm. Then I want us to say, yeah. uh, when did it come to chores, 
people are doing some things in the house. Mm. Uh, if you carry things as friends, yeah. you'll be mindful about the other person. Amen. So you like to assist, you like to help, mm. you like to stand on the gap, you like to be supportive, mm -hmm. and you do not allow anything to, 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 to come in between your friendship. Amen. Amen. So you volunteer. Mm. A friend will not like the other person to suffer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So if you are a friend, you yeah. like to carry burden yeah. for the other person. Yes. Uh, and those moments, you will be, 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 be relieving this person mm. because he's mm. a friend. Yeah. So to me, I say this. This is my view. That in marriage, there should not be a duty rust, as you have said. It should not be something that this this is supposed to be done by the wife, this is supposed to be done by the husband. So today I spread bed, tomorrow you spread. That uh, uh, today I cook, tomorrow you cook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this will bring a lot of uh, problems. Yeah. And that marriage will not be managed by grace, it will be managed by law. And where there is law, there is sin. Yes, yes, yes. So the freedom will die, mm. and that marriage will not be happy. Mm. So there is a modern marriage whereby they have duty. <laughs> Today you will stay with a child, tomorrow I will. Today is your day of shopping, tomorrow is my day. You are the one who is going to cook. You are <laughs> the one who is going to serve today. And today you are the one making breakfast. Tomorrow I am the one. And when I tell the wife, wake up, I need breakfast, say, it's your duty today. So this, these things uh, make people have problems. And I think it should not. People should share responsibilities in marriage. I agree with that. Yeah. But they should not have a permanent basis on how these responsibilities are done. Or what now we are calling now the timetable. This is how you are supposed to do it. People are supposed to carry it as friends. Mm -hmm. But sharing responsibilities is nice in that marriage out of love. You can say, honey, today I'm going to do this. And you, you can do this. Mm -hmm. uh, today I am going to be late. So you are supposed to, to be early so that you will be here with the children to see that they are um, doing their homework and everything. Yeah. Today I will be late because of the duties I'm doing there. Mm -hmm. So you stand in for that person. So today, my, uh, you will not, I will not be available. Mm. So you will take the child to school. <laughs> not me who is going to do that, but you, you are going to do it because mm. I'm not around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, it's not that now. Uh, it's the duty that my mother is the one who will take the, or mother is the one who takes children to school mm. and pick them. I have seen some people refuse to go and pick the children to school. Even when the other is held in a meeting, and they say, it's your duty today. It's your duty today to go and take. So and these people argue because of that. Mm. So to me, uh, they are, they, pe things pe should be shared out of love. Because you are loving the other person, you are concerned as a friend. Mm. So you will not allow this burden to go on the side of the other person. And then uh, you are free. Yeah. That's, that, that to me will be slavery. You want to take this woman because she is submissive. To be a slave mm. or the husband uh, you want because he's obedient to you mm. you want to make him a slave because i've always seen some uh, some men who do a lot of work yeah, yeah, yeah they can cook they can wash they can do all things and the wife takes that for granted mm. and you can see the wife is now living and sleeping over sleeping leaving this man to do because you know mm. this man will not ask mm. to me there's no love there mm -hmm. when there is love you'll be concerned yeah it's better in, you understand, this is what I am able to do. Yeah. Then I also see other things. Mm -hmm. There are things you are gifted to do. Mm -hmm. There is the area of gifting. Yeah. There is a husband who is a cook. And he likes cooking and yeah. that's the area of his gifting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. most of the time you would like to make food as, as long as he is available. Mm -hmm. There's a man, even when you tell them to cook, it will be difficult not unless you supervise for them and you, you stand there and they're there, you help. Like 
you are ju just like doing a game but you are cooking mm. and you enjoy it mm -hmm. and we are together there yeah. but when you tell him today you are the one who is going to cook i am not going to step to that into that kitchen my friend you are the one <laughs> going to cook <laughs> you so, see, so you this, see this see thing will make it a law and it will bring some complications in it yeah so to me i say this be friends do things standing to the other person as friends standing for this person stand for this person as a friend and don't allow the, other, the friend to suffer because love love does not permit that when you love somebody you <laughs> wish to carry all the burden not this person oh my god you'd like even to be carrying this other person because you feel you are in love oh. and you like to do those things so it should not be something that is now a law is supposed to be done like this it is it is early but someone is asking this mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. uh kindly help me because uh as you're talking uh in my in my own house there's there's that timetable there's that duty rota and mm -hmm. during my week where I, the week that i'm supposed to cook as a husband mm -hmm. i must prepare myself mm -hmm. I even borrow borrow some money so that the whole week I would be taking my wife for dinner because I don't want chaos. Oh, that's wrong. Because that is now, I it's not enjoyable. It's, it's something that is not happening because of grace. We say, don't put law. Law will limit you. <laughs> and take away that peace, take away that liberty, take mm. away that love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything where there is law, there is tension. <laughs> mm, mm. There is tension, <laughs> there is guilty. That, that, remove it out of your relationship. Do things as friends. So, uh, as a wife, even if you like your husband to cook, and they say, now if you don't cook, you take us out. Men with some men will prefer to take you out, but is that really no wonder? Because of law, you, you, you are supposed to go out because you are enjoying yourself. Yeah. It's a romantic thing. You are enjoying yourself and you like to do that thing together, husband and wife. Mm. But it's not now something that is you are imposing on the other person. And how it's long like will you punishment. do it? Now that's something that I ask. How mm. long will you do it? Something that is not uh, prompted by love is not coming from inside of you. You cannot do it for long. Yeah. You will get tired. Yes. And once you get tired, then that is where rebellion comes in. Mm -hmm. And that is where uh, many people have gotten into the level of rebellion in marriage. They say, I cannot do this now. They are forcing it. Mm, mm, you tell mm. the husband, this, go and make me tea today. I'm a Thursday. I'm hungry. I want this. You say, don't you have hands? And now these rude things will come. And this house will be full of tension. Full of tension because, mm. because it's a law that is managing. You are supposed to do this. You are supposed to do this. You are a mature. You are a hundred. No. Please let us understand. It's love that keeps us together. And, and the thing that will keep us moving is friendship. Amen. We do it Amen. as friends. Amen. I help my friend, my wife as a friend. Yes. I do, I do things to her like a friend. Mm -hmm. I feel it. It's not something that she will force me. Mm -hmm. She will not tell me, you must. You must <laughs> take me. You must do this. Uh, stand as a man. Do this as a man. Do this. You, never, you know, I, I am not. I do some things extra, even more than she, mm -hmm. she won't, because I feel moved by love. Amen. And sometimes you can ask, why are you doing all this? Mm. Why are you trying to do all this? You say, I feel it. Yeah. It's something I enjoy. Yeah. Enjoying yeah. helping a friend. Mm. Mm. Helping somebody that you love. That's the best thing that can happen to you in life. Amen. So let us build everything and build a foundation of friendship in marriage. <laughs> and when we have that foundation of friendship in marriage, I want to assure you, that you are going to do things like friends. Amen. And when you do those things like friends, you are going to enjoy because you are doing it. The duty is done and it's being done uh, because you love it. You love it as a friend. And if it's coming from inside of you, if it's coming from inside of you, you don't get tired. Yeah. When you are forced and your force has said, this is what you're supposed to do. And it's a force. Mm. I want to tell you, it is not coming out of you. You're just doing it. Say, let me do it for peace. You don't do it even perfect. And you cannot do it for long. Yeah. You rebel. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow you will come to a level that you say, I cannot spread that bed. Imagine now, the wife came earlier. Let's make the bed is not spread. And she stays without touching that bed. And she and the time. Until <laughs> the husband comes. And when the husband comes, 
See, it, go and spread the bed. I want to go and sleep. <laughs> you waste your time even to sleep, waiting for a man to, to come and spread the bed. You are punishing even yourself. You come home early, and the other one has not come. She remembers your duty to cook. You cannot touch anything in the kitchen. Yeah, it's you who is going to wash the utensils. You cannot touch. You just stay watch TV because it is not your duty. And then the person comes <laughs> now meets you. You are watching uh, TVs or you are doing anything. You are chatting with your friends. And you are saying, why? Why don't we have anything to eat? Say, hey, I it do, is your duty. Do you remember? Can you remember it is very... That marriage is a very fun one. It's, it cannot really be. It cannot really work. So, but when you come and you understand... Maybe I'm not even the one who woke up late. He came, woke up later than me, but the way things happened, mm -hmm. he was to hurry up and go. Mm -hmm. So he did not make the bed. Mm -hmm. So I need to understand that and come in and then make what? The bed. And if you're a friend, next time you come and you meet this somebody who has failed to do something, you mm -hmm. do for that mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. And you no not complain. And, she, and this person will go, no, I have somebody to cover up for oh, me. Yes, That's know. how we help us are helping each other. I have somebody to cover up for me. I have somebody. Now, if you make it a duty, you, it will be a point of contention every time. You will be fighting on this. You never did this. I never did this. So you will be fighting on that, mm -hmm. which is very wrong. Then... It will bring a lot of friction between your relationship. Amen. So the cure of mm. all this mm. problem mm. is love and friendship. So if you want to do, you do it in love, you do it in friendship, it will really work. Then don't criticize the other person mm -hmm. because of maybe duty, they fail to do that. You use them to mock every time. Maybe you want them to cook, but they don't know how to cook. Mm -hmm. And now they are volunteering that they want to say, hey, today we are prepared to eat bad food because the bad cook is in the kitchen. Oh and <laughs> every time you do that, you criticize. See the effort of the other person. Appreciate the other person for what they have done. Appreciate. That's how we encourage each other to do more. Appreciate. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it as just uh, your right for the husband to do this for you. Mm -hmm. It's your right. For the life, wife to do this for you, appreciate. Amen. Congratulate others for what they have done. Praise them for what they have done. Show yeah. them you recognize. You're not blind. Oh, yes. You are seeing their efforts. Oh, yes. You are seeing what they are doing. Mm. And this is how friends do each, to each other. You encourage one another. You support one another. You help one another. And this is uh, how it works also in a marriage relationship. However, I also say, in my own view, that there are some things purely, the way we were created and God created us and brought us into marriage, there are mm -hmm. things purely mm -hmm. they can be done by a woman better than a man. And there are things purely can be done by a man mm -hmm. better yeah. than a woman. Yes. So for us to do the duty well in our marriage, surrounding us, whether it comes to children, whether it comes to the house, how we stay, we need to understand the duty to one another. Duty to one another. Mm. There are some things my wife cannot do to herself. That's right. So I must step up mm. as a man mm. and do to her. Amen. There are things I cannot do for myself. Mm -hmm. My wife must step up and do it for me. Yeah. So there is duty. We say there is even duty to God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Duty to God. Mm -hmm. There is duty to your country also. Yeah. Duty to God. Duty to your country. So there are some things that your country waits for you mm -hmm. to do. Amen. And there is duty to each other yeah. in a family. Duty to your wife. Mm -hmm. So I want to say this. A man, number one, is duty when it comes now to the wife so that we can understand all these things, how they, they will be done and how they will come. Mm -hmm. When it comes to man now, the duty number one for this man is to love the wife. Mm 
Mm-hmm. When you know that you love your wife, number one, for you to demonstrate this love, you must take her needs as of primary importance. That means you, you care about our needs and you take it seriously. Yes, yes. Number two, you need to sacrifice your life even for her to be comfortable. The way Christ loved the church. So man is supposed to do a lot of sacrifices for the woman. I, I pause there because mm. I feel some people say, hey, <laughs> the Bible says, love your wife the way Christ loved the church, even died for the church. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sacrificial love. Mm-hmm. That's what the woman is in need of. And then number three, love her the way you love your own self. Your own body. That's what the Bible says. Nobody hates his body. Yes. You nourish your body. You feed it so that it can be strong. Mm-hmm. So men, you love your body. Love your wife the way you love your own body. The way you'd like to be comfortable. The way you'd like to stay. The way you'd like to have. I want you to understand also. The woman like means that. Mm-hmm. So love her the way you love yourself. If you can do this, you sacrifice for this woman. You take her needs as primary importance. Mm-hmm. You love her the way you love your own body. Every normal woman will be submissive to such a man. Mm-hmm. Every normal woman. I say normal because there are some women who are abnormal. So every normal woman <laughs> to her license, she will submit to that kind of a man. Mm. Because you care. And that's what she needs. So, that is something that is very important. You are supposed to love your wife and give yourself sacrificially for her. You present, you will, remember you will present her back to God. Yeah. So it's your duty to dress her. Make her look best she can. Bring out our best. That's man. Bring out our best. That's the man. And then this woman will feel that she is loved. And the man is concerned about her welfare. Mm-hmm. Another important thing now, when it comes to the relationship between husband and wife, I say the, the work of the man also, the duty mm-hmm. is to lead because that is why we are yeah, going to yeah, end yeah, to lead. Yeah, yeah. So you are providing mm. leadership. Yeah. A man is supposed to provide leadership for the woman. And this is direction that you are supposed to bring leadership. You need to lead the women in a relationship. That's why a man pursues a woman, mm. gets her attention, bring her on board, mm. get married to her, give him, give her your name. You are supposed to lead in relationship. So, if a woman is nagging you when it comes to relationship, she's always reminding you, I need this, I need this, I want this. You are feeling duty. It's your duty as man to lead the woman into relationship. Leader. The way you are pursuing a leader. Mm-hmm. Make every move. Make every move. Initiate every move. When it comes to relationship, she should not be reminding you a lot of things. Darling, you need to take me out. Darling, you need to come to me. Darling, do you remember the last time you touched me? Darling, do you remember the last time you took me this? Darling, do you... Mm. Uh, and, until she will continue like that until she, it will become a nagging issue. So lead mm. into a relationship. Show her you are committed to that relationship. You are committed to that marriage. You are taking it with a lot of weight as a leader. Mm-hmm. And she will be fulfilled. But if the uh, wife begins now to nag you every time, every time she wants something, she must nag. Then you are failed. You are not supposed to be that. And most of the women, when they wait for you to, to be reasonable enough, and they see you are not reasoning, they will either sacrifice mm-hmm. and live without your leadership, or they will try to take over and lead you because... They cannot wait for the family yeah. to collapse. So it's important. She won that. It is you you should show the woman, the wife, that you really need her. You are really interested with her. You feel her. You want her. 
that attention mm -hmm. you need to give and show every time that leadership and that's what she's expecting from you number two you're supposed to lead the woman in decision making in decision making so in other words you provide direction wisdom understanding mm. and you make decisions based on wisdom that's why you are a man you have spent a lot of time with god mm -hmm. so that you can have wisdom to lead a wife and provide answers to life questions that's why men are in they are called elders kinds of elders wise wisdom wisdom come from them so you are supposed to know and tell the wife this is the direction mm -hmm. this is the direction you provide answers don't take forever to bring a solution of a problem that is obvious mm -hmm. that itself will make the, the wife not to understand so don't take forever so bring solutions quickly as you can don't suffer from passivity then it is in decision making where authority is now needed. Mm -hmm. You show your authority. In other words, there are some things you can fail to decide the two of you. But now you can say, now, darling, as a leader, I feel we move this way. Yeah. For now, let's do things in this way. And now, a, a good woman, a good wife, you are also supposed to submit to that yeah. and follow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, it may not be right. He may make mistakes, but he will learn from his mistake. A humble person will tell you, uh, I, I, I made a mistake not to obey your voice. I think this is not right. Yeah. And next time, I will mm. listen. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you may think your husband is wrong, and sometimes you come and congratulate him. I've seen some women congratulate their husband and say, thank you, you are bold enough. You took that action mm -hmm. against me. Mm -hmm. You did not listen to me because I was against it. But now it has helped us. I have seen so many say that so authority is needed in that and authority is what the woman needs sometimes women lose a lot of control when it comes to decision making so they need an authority that's why a woman cannot stay without a father she needs a person of authority she cannot stay without a father she does not leave her father and mother it is not written in the bible say a man shall leave a father and a mother and he shall cleave to his wife and become one flesh. So man is the one who lives and begins mm -hmm. his own foundation. And the woman remains, changes the father from biological father to the husband, who is the source also. Because man gave birth to the woman. Now, there's someone maybe so that uh, this person will be helped. Mm. There's someone who's saying, uh, Apostle, as you're talking, remember there are, there are some women out there. Mm. They have never been under any father. They mm. were just brought up by their mothers mm. and uh, they have never been under any father. The women? Some women. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were just brought up by a single mom. Now, let me say this. Yes. It's somewhere we may say they don't have a father, mm -hmm. but fathers are spread. Yes. across yes some people did not have fathers biological. biologically they yeah. had uncles yeah. who played the role of a, a father, father oh, or even grandfather awesome. who played the role of a father mm -hmm. some did not have active uncles or grand mm -hmm. but they met teachers in school oh, yes who played the role of a, a father. father thank you and others have gone to churches mm -hmm. and they have met men of god pastors who have also played a role of a father. They, he did not father them biologically, but mm -hmm. he has played a role of father. He has given yeah. uh, something, kindness, counsel, mm -hmm. and, and other things, training that a father is supposed to train. He has brought confidence out, affirmation uh, to this person, and this mm -hmm. person has been strong because there are some things that have been released uh, through their father. So uh, it's unfortunate. Most of them... Uh, have not gone through that. But yeah. anyone who has a last of a father, he will find a father. Mm -hmm. A father may not be biological, but uh, he will come out and help you. Thank you. So this, this happens mm -hmm. in most cases. Mm -hmm. But there are people who uh, completely ignore the authority of a father. Mm -hmm. And these people become difficult to deal with even in marriage. Mm -hmm.